a lot of parameters have logical stops in them, and so we want to build tables so that the board knows where those stops are. Let's look at some examples of indexed parameters. We're going to do a scroller exercise really quick. So we're going to first in patch select our units that have scrollers. And you'll notice that in my scroller wheels area, there's just the scroller tile. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And there are some default scrollers that exist in the library, but we want to create a new scroller. So down here we can say new, and that's going to give us new wheel one. The first thing that I like to do is label my new scroller. So I'm going to go hit label. And anytime you have a label field open, hitting label again will clear a label that's already there. So let's call this scroller roll training for today. And you'll notice that my table opens up and I get the ability to add a new frame number. So I'm going to click on this color slash gel tile next to my first frame. And it's going to give me all of my lists of gels that I have, just like in my color picker. But also it gives me the ability to add an open frame. So for this example, our first frame is actually open. Now I get the ability to add a new second frame. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to pick Roscoe and their Roscoe Lux library that they have. And the first color in my scroller roll is Roscoe 10. So once I click on that, it adds it. So there's a bit of a shortcut as well if you already know your gel numbers. Instead of clicking on the color slash gel area that gets me into my library, if I click on new and type 5, which if you remember is the shortcut number for my Roscoe Lux library, slash 27, which is red, and I hit enter, it's going to add that color automatically and move me down to my next line so that I can type the next gel number. Through the magic of video, we're going to finish this gel scroller. We'll see you at the end. Great. When you've input all your gels, just hit the Done button. Let's go out into Live really quick and check our scrollers. So I'm going to go ahead and say 21 through 26 at full. And the first thing that you'll notice is now in my moving light controls area, I have all of the gel swatches for the scroller roll that I've patched. I can quickly click on those and get to my gel color. Let's go back into patch really quick and look at some of the other indexed parameters that are there. I'm going to type 111, which is a moving light of ours. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Gobo Wheel. And you can see that Gobo Wheel is set up exactly like the scroller that we just put together, except you actually get thumbnails of Gobos. We try and give you the stock load that comes with the fixture when it ships from the manufacturer, uh, but some of them don't have information. So you can come in and create a custom load, or if you change what's in the fixture, you can change out the Gobo images. We also have a color select wheel in this fixture. This allows us to select the color chips that are in that wheel. We also have the ability to modify the shutter order of this fixture. So if the fixture is hung in a different direction than maybe other fixtures that are like it, we can modify the order in which those shutters populate. 